Today I'm going to show you how to put a new set of gimbals into your Tyrannus. I'm putting a new set of gimbals in my Tyrannus because they've stopped recentering uh, consistently. They should go back to 1500 when you release the stick, and I kept having to constantly nudge the trim one way or the other way to get them to recenter. Just kept not doing it. So that was my sign that it was time to replace my gimbals. But these gimbals are actually an upgrade from the gimbals that came, at least on my Tyrannus, which was ordered uh, over a year ago. New Tyrannus may come with these new gimbals. I don't know. The new gimbals have an alloy crossbar, which improves the centering, and they feel, I don't know if it's just because mine had gotten old, but they feel smoother. They feel really nice. Swapping the gimbals is not difficult to do. If you're handy with a screwdriver and you can plug and unplug electrical connectors, that's all there is to it. There's not even any soldering. The designers of the Tyrannus did a really good job of making it maintainable, and that's one of the reasons it's my favorite radio. Now, the gimbals I'll be putting in are the Tyrannus Replacement Gimbal. I purchased them from Aloft Hobbies, uh, but you can also find them at many other vendors around the Internet, such as GetFPV, uh, whoever's got them in stock. I always buy my Tyrannus stuff from Aloft. I believe that Aloft is the official service center for Tyrannus in the United States, and they have literally any spare part you could possibly want for your Tyrannus. So if you need a switch, if you need a new radio board, whatever you need, Aloft has it. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to remove the screws from the back of your Tyrannus. There are six Phillips head screws in the back of the Tyrannus, uh, and you're going to need to take them out before you open it up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. But before you do that, take your battery out. <laughs> take your battery out first. And now those screws are going to come out. One, two, three, four five, and six. The next thing to do is to push your shoulder switches either forward or back, whichever you prefer. But remember, make a note of which way you pushed them, because when you open the Tyrannus, they may come loose, and you don't want to put them back in facing the wrong direction. So push them back, and then you can always put them back the same way. Then the Tyrannus is going to just slide open like a clamshell very easily. You're going to want to make sure that the shoulder switches go with the front, and the pots go with the back. If they come loose, it's no big deal. You just slide them right back into place. But if you've never done this before, that might be a little disconcerting if it happened to you. Here's the gimbal that we're going to use. I'm just taking it out of the box now. This is not an unboxing. And what I want you to see here is that the gimbal is set up to recenter. And one of these is going to need to be our throttle, so we're going to have to make it so that doesn't happen. This screw right here, if you screw it all the way in, will disengage the centering spring from the uh, gimbal. And you can see now the stick is completely non-centering. But it's also pretty loose. Look how loose it is. So we need to add some tension. And the way we're going to do that is by tightening these bars down. And they will apply some friction, which will make the stick stiffer or looser. Now, we can tighten those down just by screwing these screws in. Just screw them in until you get the amount of tension you want. And one of these bars has a little ratcheting mechanism on it, and the other one doesn't. So if, if you want a ratcheting throttle, you tighten down the one that has the ratcheting mechanism. And if you want a smooth throttle, you tighten down the one that doesn't have the ratcheting mechanism. You can actually mix and match it as much as you want to have the amount of tension and ratcheting that you prefer. I want to call your attention now to this screw, which adjusts the spring tension on the up-down axis of this gimbal. Uh, screwing it in makes the spring tension tighter, and screwing it out makes the spring tension looser. Since we have disengaged the centering on this gimbal because it's the throttle gimbal, this isn't going to do anything. But on the other gimbal, where you've got centering on both axes, you could use this to tighten or to loosen the feel of the stick. Unless you have prior experience that leads you to believe you're going to want a looser or stiffer stick than normal, I'd suggest just leaving this alone. Uh, you never know what kind of changes you're going to unintentionally make to the stick feel and the way the copter flies if you just go screwing around with this. On the other hand, it's your transmitter. Screw around with it if you want to. And here we've got the screw and spring that adjusts the left-right tension. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a note of how the wire comes out of this connector and goes to this smaller connector underneath the gimbal, and then the one on the end goes to the board in the center. These are long and short enough that I don't think there's any way you could mess this up, but make a note of how it goes, or just refer to this. And then I'm going to start unplugging the connectors once I've made a note of how they go. Always note how it was put together before you start taking it apart.
This big one in particular can be a little fiddly to get out. You see I've resorted to using a small flathead screwdriver gently to pry these out. Next, with a 2.5 millimeter hex driver, I'm going to remove these screws from the front of the Tyrannus. These are the four screws on each gimbal that are holding the gimbal into the front plate of the Tyrannus. And then having done that, the gimbal should just slide right out. Now there's a little bit of work you have to do to get it to come out from behind that circuit board, so be a little careful about it, but it should come right out. The new gimbal slides right in. Again, just be careful to get the edge of the gimbal in uh, up underneath that circuit board. And also, make sure you're installing the right gimbal on the right side and that it's facing the right direction. The two tension bars go toward the inside of the transmitter. I'm going to insert the gimbal and put those screws right back in where they came. The gimbals come with a new set of screws. If you want to use those instead, I just reuse the old ones. And then you're going to plug these cables right back in the way they used to be. Couldn't be simpler. Now just repeat that process for the second gimbal. And again, as a reminder, the tension bars go toward the center of the Tyrannus. I had actually looked this up using my own recording as a reference uh, in order to assure myself I was not putting the gimbal in upside down. And once everything is plugged in, you just close the Tyrannus back up the way it was. Just make sure that all the switches go into place and just gently squeeze it together. Double check that everything's correct. And then just uh, put your screws back in the back. There is one more thing you're going to need to do since you've changed your gimbals, and that is redo your stick calibration that you had to do way back when you first got your Tyrannus. To do that, long press the menu button and then page through the pages until you get to the page I'm about to show you here. Right here, press enter, and then follow the steps, moving the sticks to the center and all of the pots as well. Front panel pots and shoulder pots centered. and then moving each stick and all of the pots to their full extents, and that'll finish the calibration. Well, congratulations. That is how to upgrade or change the gimbals on your Tyrannus. Do one last check to make sure everything is working as it should be. Nothing is reversed or wrong. And enjoy your new gimbals. Happy flying.